All right, guys, now we're going to get into setting up the Aweber account. Now, again, I use Aweber. I think it's by far the easiest, most user-friendly autoresponder service that's out there. I've worked with a lot of them, and I just think that they um, are the best in that regard of, of helping you and showing you and walking you through the process of all things email marketing. Now. Uh, I'm going to walk you through kind of how this works. Um, if you've never heard of Aweber and you've never heard of autoresponders, I'm just going to kind of really briefly walk you through how to set this up, okay? So, what you want to do is you want to type up here just aweber.com. This should pop up here. And obvi obviously, I already have an account, so it's going to give me a login. Um, uh, right here to log into my account, but let me see if I can make it to where I'm not. Okay, need an account. You'll probably see something like create an account or need an account, and just click that. And it's going to give you three options monthly, quarterly, yearly. You do save a little bit of money uh, if you go ahead and, and do quarter, quarterly or yearly. Um, I always do monthly, um, and I know that's $19 a month, but the rate of return on the investment I've had on my autoresponder has been well worth it and it also leverages your time automates your business for you so I do if you can I do recommend you you know getting an autoresponder and learning how this works because it really you know if you want to wake up in the morning to money every day uh, an autoresponder will is the one thing that you need um, in your in your um, your arsenal okay now you'll just go down here and create an account you'll have a login name so when you come in it'll ask you your login and your password you'll set all this stuff up all this information here website URL if you want to put that in it's up to you <clears throat> enter, enter your billing information of however you want to pay and you agree and complete my order now after you do this it will take you to a screen that I'm going to show you coming up but I'm going to have to pause the video because I want to make sure that it doesn't log in into my affiliate section and I want to show you kind of how to set up a list. So let me pause the video real quickly and I'll be right back. Alright guys, once you get your account set up, you'll come to a screen that looks very similar to this right here where, where we are creating the list. Now, the list is just, you know, a brief term for what this whole entire thing is, okay? A list will contain a series of emails that will go out to the person that signs in or opts in into your autoresponder right here, okay? Now, it will give you a default up here. What you're going to what you want to do for this step 1, this basic information, you want to just, you know, put in how this is recognizable um, to you. So if you want to put in like infinity with Bob, if your name's Bob, nobody else sees this but you. So that's just a way that when you come up here, you'll see it. And if you've got several things going, um, you can go up there and, and go and work within this list. Okay. Now, list description. Um, now, the company is going to give you some little pop-up tips right here that will kind of you know really kind of get into what each one of these mean but I'm just going to briefly walk you through this description is what your subscribers are going to see what the list is about and it's especially important to put something in here because this is what the people will see if they if they come to an unsubscribe page so I always put a little bit of encouragement in here like um, this uh, is for infinity downline I greatly appreciate your opt-in and I hate to see you go I just put something like that. I've never had an unsubscriber um, uh, but you know that's just something I put in there just to kind of encourage them to stay in and you know so I can follow up with them now um, you whatever name you want to put in here um, whatever your name I, I know all of you are probably using your real name uh, through, through this that's fine put in uh, they do you know 
tell you to put in the email address that's not free you don't have to do that but they do say that if you're using a service like I use Comcast if you put, use an email like that they say that the probability rate of somebody receiving your emails is a lot greater I you know that's debatable but if you have a Gmail that's fine but I just you know I just put my, my regular uh, Comcast which I pay for um, just for that reason okay now your notifications you just want to put your name in here Bob and just put that same email or whatever email you want to put to receive notifications just means you know where a Weber is going to send an email to tell you that you've had a new opt-in so you got your site set up and people are coming to it and they're opting in a Weber is just going to send a notification to this email to tell you you to tell you that you have a new opt-in okay once all that's done you just hit save settings and they have a real neat setup wizard to kind of walk you through the process if you get stuck as well but I'm going to give you just the nuts and bolts and what you just have to have and forget about the rest of the what you don't have don't need to have okay um, on, I just clicked on step two up here um, this you don't need to do any of this whatsoever I've never done any of this you know read it over if you want to include this if you want to include you know I don't know why anybody want to post broad, broadcast their Facebook but you know hey that might be, <laughs> might be up your alley but that's just some, you know, if you had a business account set up and you wanted to send the broadcast to Facebook as well, that's neat in that regard. Don't worry about this company branding because you're already working with the company if any downline. Don't worry about that whatsoever. Um, you don't really need to do a logo unless you want to do that. Um, you, know, you don't even set, have to save settings on this one, but we'll go ahead and do it anyway. That's step two up here. That's done. We're going to go to three. Confirmed opt-in guys do not worry about this this is just some a special message if you want to do this that's fine you know but the, what this is is when somebody opts in right here and requests more information you can have a comp a special confirmation message sent to them sent to them uh, to allow them to confirm okay I don't do this because of number two right here require opt-in on web forms they strongly recommend you to leave this on but I'm telling you uh, to leave it off and what I'm telling you to leave this off is because if you do leave it on you're gonna have something called a double opt-in so when somebody comes here and they sign in they're going to get a confirmation message message asking them to confirm again so it's kinda of just like you know double you know kinda of unnecessary in my opinion so I'll leave it off so as soon as they sign in to my autoresponder we're starting that campaign and we're sending it to them right away so that's why I like that now on number three right here success page I'm gonna come back and visit this on step six because I'm gonna show you how to create a success page on your website with a free gift to give them for opting in so don't worry about this right now okay don't worry. We'll, we'll visit this later okay just save settings and that is it okay you can get more elaborate like that but this is just what you need and not what you don't need okay if that makes if that makes sense this is you know this is just really what you need to get rolling um, you, a lot of this stuff is just kind of add-on stuff you really don't need for what we're doing with infinity downline so that's it as soon as that's done uh, in the next step I'm going to show you how to install all the, the emails uh, which are the messages that are sent out and that's coming up in the next video so see you then thanks